The tumultuous start of the year for California continues. Torrential rainfall and the winds that were unleashed on Tuesday by the latest Pacific storm. Millions of storm-weary people across California faced another round of life-threatening weather conditions as the atmospheric river unloaded more than a month's worth of rainfall in one day, which sparked flash floods, rock slides and avalanches. The early week storm is the latest in a line of storms that have pummeled California since New Year's Eve. More than a dozen storm-related fatalities have been reported across the state since the end of 2022. Tens of thousands of people have been put under evacuation orders. Meanwhile, the Ventura County Fire Department used helicopters to rescue people who were stranded by the floodwaters on an island in the Ventura River. Although the water levels quickly dropped to minor flood stage levels overnight. This storm was different from the standpoint that it was here much longer. It was more intense. Because of the prior storm, the ground was much more saturated, which led to uh, a lot more flooding and a lot more rescues uh, because of the ground saturation. The flash floods triggered by the heavy rain toppled trees and swept away people, including a five-year-old boy who remains missing in Central California. We began to see the water come in the park and I, I, I couldn't wait any longer. I, I made the decision to leave the evacuate on my own. I left the trailer behind. I just got in my car and took off and uh, ended up in about maybe five feet of water trying to get out of the park, just trying to make it to the front gate. I finally got to the front gate and fire firefighters were waiting for me at the gate already trying to get me out. You know, I don't, I've never seen anything like this in all of my 41 years living in the city, so. And I'm 45, and I am, yeah, nothing, nothing like this. This is undescribable. The amount of water that dropped yeah. within one hour. The state expects heavy to excessive rainfall, especially in the southern region. According to the National Weather Service, Wind gusts clogged at more than 64 kilometers per hour in many places. The winds wreaked havoc on the power grid, knocking out electricity for tens of thousands of Californians. The data suggesting that more than 200,000 homes and businesses were without electricity. Visuals from across the state showed the damage that the storm brought to the state. And in San Jose, a power line came down on top of a liquor store with its cables pulling on a corresponding pole across the street that was hanging precariously. And that's not all. The problem for the Californian residents continues to pile up, continuing uh, to pile up. According to the California Department of Water Resources, the Fremont Weir is a uh, flowing and forecasting and is predicted to flow for the next five days as it is designed to do. Before we move on, let me tell you what weirs are. These are low dams designed to help manage floods. They are passive systems and move the water when it reaches a specific height into a flood bypass to relieve the pressure on the mainstream level levees. Uh, it was shocking. Just, just, you know, it happened so fast and we had very little time to get out of the house and we were watching other people being evacuated and we just had no idea. It was just a shocker and where we, we, it was just unbelievable, you know, seeing the water come in and then it just gushing just like a river through. And as the U.S. state continues to experience the wrath of Mother Nature, a large sinkhole in Chatsworth swallowed two 
vehicles. Two people were inside each of the two vehicles that was swallowed by the 15-foot deep sinkhole. The two occupants of the pickup truck were able to escape on their own. Meanwhile, the firefighters used an aerial ladder to position the rescuers over the hole and a rope operation lowered a firefighter who secured each victim and hoisted them to safety. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.